Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our assembly. It's the final assembly of this half of term. And well done to all of you. How, how you've adapted to remote teaching learning has been really impressive. So very proud of you all. So I said last week, thanks to the teachers, but also thanks to you, the boys and girls. And I'm sure some parents also listen to this as well. Thanks to the parents for their support. Um, individually, we've had some individual successes I want to just mention very briefly at assembly. Max McIntosh in year nine in Lyon has had 18 commendations. Well done, Max. There were 230 commendations last week. Um, and then also in Lyon in upper six, Alex Baxter has been given a headmaster's distinction for his outstanding work uh, in economics, A-level economics. So well done to Alex. And in priory upper six, Violet Lucen Gore has been awarded a place, a uh, prestigious place, at the National Youth Theatre of Great Britain. So well done to Violet. I still, we still don't quite know what the government mean by year 10 and year 12 having face-to-face -face meetings <coughs> in school after half term. It makes clear that remote teaching and learning will carry on a normal timetable and I appreciate if you're abroad or you can't get to the school, it's not really possible to have face-to-face -face meetings, but we're still having them remotely. So please don't worry, and we don't quite know what's involved, so, so we'll get more information soon. But if you can't access the school or whatever the face-to-face uh, -face meetings entail, don't worry, you will not be disadvantaged. Remote teaching and learning will carry on as normal. For the fifth form and for the upper six, your post-half-term programme, so the upper six is optional. Uh, more information will come from Mr Cupid in half-term. So don't worry, you don't have to do anything about this, about these programmes. Saturday would have been Commemoration Day, an important day in the school's history, but obviously we can't do, do this. I've decided it's too complex to do a virtual Commemoration Day, so King Spirit will be focusing on Commemoration uh, the Day and the previous event, which is Corpus Christi, I'll talk about that in a second, um, on Friday. So lots of, please do look at King Spirit, a lot of it will come up reminiscence about uh, Commemoration Day for lots from old Brutonians. We will do a virtual lever service, uh, we're working, starting to work on that and a virtual prize giving prizes will be the list of prizes will be sent out to we'll, but I won't go through the list of prizes and a prize giving the only prize I will give out or the trophy will be the house trophy the Bailey Beat trophy here um, donated to the school by a teacher in 1899 after being at school for three years George Bailey Beak so this is the to the house that's performed the best across the board in all house competitions including academic competitions it is solid silver hallmark there you want to see how, how valuable it is um, so that's what we give give out and i will be presenting that to the housemaster housemistress whose house has won and these are the i introduced the, the trophy in 2014 so the winners have been wellesley arian arian new blackford we're having that um that shield done now so that will be on by the time of the end of term and there'll be the next house 2020 house going on there so we will present the bailey beak trophy uh, commemoration day commemorates the founders of the school um, it used to be a much bigger event because it used to happen on corpus christi which it was is 50 days after easter but as easter kept on it keeps on moving Corpus Christi kept on moving and it clashed with exams. So in 1977, the school fixed commemoration day to be on the first Saturday of the summer half term. And it used to really be a combination of prize giving and commemoration. So it was a two day event. It's now a small event, although it's important. It always ended in a feast of the governors um, with, and it still has a lunch of governors, invited guests, staff from Kings and Hazel Grove and the school prefects and heads of house and their parents. It used to be a pretty, it is a lavish event now, it used to be far more alcohol consumed. In 1683, the eight governors in the, went to the pub called the Unicorn, which was on the high street then. Um, the equipment money now was about, it was about 200,000 pounds worth of alcohol they drank in eight of them so this they drank a lot in those days the good old days this is the in the archives in the john david room i've just taken the back board i've just taken a copy which we had for the royal visit the four dates there are really important for us 1519 the foundation of the school founded um linked with william gilbert the abbot of bruton abbey and he was asked to found a school by and the founders are richard fitzjames bishop of london and he was born in red lynch house just south of us in Bruton. Um, his nephew, Sir John Fitzjames, who was Chief Justice of the King's Bench, and he lived in Red Lynch, and John Edward, Edmund, sorry, John Edmonds, who was 
the uh, Chancellor of St Paul's and he was a native of Bruton. So we've got Lynn there. 1539, the dissolution of the monasteries, Bruton Abbey closed, the school closed, and in 1550 refounded uh, by Edward VI, and that's why we're at King's School. The Fitzjames crest is the dolphin, so that's the dolphin part of our, of, of our school crest, and the crown is Edward VI. And 1566 was when the governors introduced 18 regulations. So we're the school, probably with the longest serving governing body in the world. So in 1566, and that's on the, you can see there, uh, beside it, a copy of the governor's meetings. And we've got minutes of governor's meetings going back, centuries right back to 1566. So commemoration is very important. Um, we're 501 years old, obviously the, the celebrations last year. Um, we as a school have gone through a lot. If you're 500 years old, you've gone through certainly two world, obviously two world wars, um, lots of wars before that, a lot of poverty. The school was not a very rich school at all. Um, it's in 1812, there was only one boy in the school, the school nearly closed. After the First World War, they suffered, as all the world suffered with another pandemic, the Spanish flu, and the school has also had serious flooding until they, until they had dams up uh, where you go on a dam run. Um, the last flood was in 1984, but there were floods after the First World War as well that really um, damaged the school significantly. So we've been through major challenges. We're clearly going through a challenge now. We will come out strongly. Um, and probably stronger and, and the way you as pupils have reacted has been inspiring so I'm really very very grateful to you. The chaplain will finish with his prayer I'm just going to say the bidding prayer which all headmasters have said for generations at the start of commemoration service as you walk in uh, everyone's singing the first hymn I go to the front or the headmaster goes to the front and reads the bidding prayer okay so I'll be just We'll do that now. It's not, clearly, it's not commemoration, but I want to say it because an important part of my life is to, as a headmaster, is to do this bidding prayer. So we just pray now, and then the chaplain will conclude with a prayer. So this is the commemoration service bidding prayer um, at the start of the service. So let us pray. On this historic day, we pray for Christ's holy Catholic Church, that is, for all Christian people dispersed throughout the world, that they may work for the advancement of Christ's kingdom so that all men may live together in unity and concord. And we pray especially for the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and for all the royal family. And we pray for the archbishops, bishops, priests, and deacons of the churches of this kingdom and commonwealth, and especially for the clergy of this diocese of Bath and Wells. We also pray for the Queen's Honourable Council, and for all in authority under her in this realm, that in their several callings, they may serve humbly and honestly to the glory of God and the benefit of his people. We pray also for all universities, colleges and schools, and especially for this royal and ancient foundation and its members past and present. And finally, let us praise God for all who have departed this life in faith and fear of Christ, especially for Richard Fitzjames, Bishop of London, John Fitzjames, Chief Justice of the King's Bench, and John Edmonds, Chancellor of St Paul's, the founders of this school. For His Majesty King Edward VI, its Reed founder, for James Lyon, for Glyn Keith Murray, the second Lord Blackford, and for all other benefactors whose gifts, spiritual and material, have enriched the life of the community, fostering therein the studies of godliness and good learning. And we pray that we may have grace so to direct our lives after their example, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So over to the chaplain for his prayer, and to all of you, have a great half term. Those in the upper six who are not continuing in the um, programme after half term, hopefully I'll speak to you at the Lever service, but have a great half term. Thank you for all that you've done for this school. I'm sorry this term has been very uh, different for you. It's not the, I say it's not the term we, final term we wanted for our upper six. Um, but have a great half term, and over to the chaplain. Thank you. Let's pray for half term commemoration day and all that lies ahead. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our school's rich history and the countless ways you've blessed us over the centuries. Thank you for the community we have at King's and the many opportunities and achievements you have given so many people at our school. We're especially thankful for this first half of term. Thank you for online teaching and learning 
uh, continuing alongside lots of other parts of school life. Please help us to persevere during this last week before our half term holiday. We pray too that we would enjoy lots of rest over the half term holiday. Please give us moments of refreshment and opportunities to serve others. Keep us mindful of you and your ways. And we pray too for school after half term, whatever shape it takes. Please help us to be those who are patient, obedient and diligent. We especially pray for members of our school community leaving us to be able to enjoy a fitting sending off. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.